Are you an iPad musician wanting to live stream your performances using your Mac? Today we're going to look at some software to help you do that. Let's get started. Mac OS does not have a simple audio manager compared to Windows, which makes managing multiple simultaneous audio streams rather difficult. This can be a problem when live streaming live music using multiple audio inputs. Ground Control Caster by Ginger Audio is a powerful sound mixer developed for macOS. It allows you to manage these different audio streams independently so you can use them both on the desktop and within OBS. So today we'll have a look at how I've got this set up. There's a link in the description below if you want to get hold of Caster. Ginger Audio have kindly partnered with me for the purposes of this video. So if you click that link, it lets them know that you come from me. So how do you get hold of Caster? Well, you need to head over to the gingeraudio.com website, select the products, ground control caster, there's a download option, and you just hit download and it comes down to your Mac. So very, very simple. Okay, so I've opened Caster on my Mac and we've got the, the main control panel in the center of the screen. So let's talk about what's going on here. Left of this central pane, we've got what's called the, the soundboard. In here, you store up to 20 different samples, which can be activated at a click of a button. So for instance, let's click the applause. If you wanted to change what was in that slot, you click on the little dots and it allows you to select your own file. Beneath the list of the samples, we have a volume slider, VU meter, and we also have an insert slot. It allows Caster to use a plugin which is installed on your Mac. As you can see, all the VSTs which are installed on my Mac, essentially any audio effect which you have installed on your Mac to use within the slots. So that covers the bottom half of, of all the inputs. Uh, they're all the, they all work the same. If we just go a little bit lower on this, we've got the record option because within Caster, if you wanted to record the stream at source, you can do. So this allows you to select or deselect that particular stream. And you can turn on this toggle switch which will then direct your audio from this stream into OBS. So the soundboard comes as standard, both with the free version and the premium version, um, as does the desktop audio, which again is a, a volume control, which takes all the stuff that's coming through your Mac desktop. If we wanted to add additional slots to our input, we go to the central part and we can see we can add an application track. So that's an app that's on your Mac. You can add a microphone track. So that allows you to add hardware. What we've got so far on here, we've got two applications, essentially. My mixing desk, that was literally added by click the microphone track, inputs down to the MGXU. It's a stereo input. Just select the inputs one and two, click, and it appears. Similarly, you've got your volume control, You've got your plugins and the op option to forward to your streaming software. And you also notice uh, in this box at the bottom, when it is being sent out to your streaming service, it tells you what the stream name is. Because this is one of the clever things with Caster. You can take all these different streams and bring them all independently into your streaming software and manipulate them all differently. So not only can you balance all the levels within your Mac, you can also do different things with those audio streams when they get into OBS. So let's say we wanted to add Apple Music into our mixing desk so we could bring some background music, for example, into your video. We need to make sure that we've got Apple Music up and running. We can, we've got that up and running. So if we go back to Caster now, go into the add application, we can see Apple Music is available there. So if I click that, Apple Music has appeared as a slot. We've got the volume controls there. We can add plugins and we can send it out to OBS. Let's get some music going. Let's try Reflections. So we can see this is now playing. I mean, obviously I'm talking over it. There's a lot going on. So let's, let's bring that volume down so it's nicely in the background. 
But we can see from this that we've got an audio input from Apple Music. And if we wanted to send that out to OBS, we just switch that on. Let's open a Firefox. This channel, let's put follow the river on here. Okay, so I've opened Firefox and we'll be ready to play a video in there. So just as we did with Apple Music, we click on the applications, we pick Firefox. And what I will do for now is just drop that audio right down. Because if we start playing Follow the River, we can now see that stream is playing through. We could drop that down, bring that up. So as you can see, we can manage two totally different streams and two different applications simultaneously. And as mentioned, we can send all of this into OBS. I've got a number of different sound sources coming through. So there's the Apple Music that's going on there. Um, it's picking up the desktop audio. I've actually got that muted in this setup here. But similarly, we could fire up sound effect, and that's coming through the soundboard there. Now, I mentioned that I use this setup for my live streaming when I'm playing my music live. Now, my setup involves all my music being generated using the iPad, and the audio itself is then routed via my audio interface into my MG mixer. And that comes into the laptop and then via the power of caster is then spat out as an audio stream within OBS. And I have to do it via the mixer this way to ensure that I get a proper stereo signal. I've got the mixer set up and I've got the iPad attached to it. So similarly, I can just press play on the iPad. And we can see that the audio is coming through to caster we can change the volume so we're at full control and similarly if we switch into OBS you can see my caster mixer input also coming through there there we go right so let's tidy up the screen so you can see we've got a number of different inputs that we can manipulate independently and each of those can then go out into OBS and out into a live stream. Just on the right hand side, we've got the volume control, which is your master out into your streaming software. So that's called Caster Stream Mix 1. Depending on how you wanted to set things up, you might need to change the volume on the overall master so it's it fits in with your stream and we've also got the audio on the Mac itself so this is tied in with the the caster app on the top so caster itself is just dealing with all of the volume controls so hopefully that explains how you could have a number of different streams coming through caster either independently of each other or all as one i.e the, the caster stream mix within OBS so I hope you found my little walkthrough of Ground Control Caster by Ginger Audio useful. If you did, please hit that like button and maybe leave a comment below. Let me know, is this sort of software something that you would use? If you're not already a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.